First thing to do is whoever's coming to get the trailer, we want y'all to don't just back up to it, hook up and go. Don't assume that whoever parked it last did what they were supposed to do. Get off, look, check your tires, uh, make sure the strap is still strapped down tight. Make sure there's oil either on the trailer or in the in the bucket, in the pump. Cause you look bad when you get out to the job site, y'all get everything set up and you say, man, I ain't got no oil. When you're digging your ditch, if it is anything five feet or above and you, and you, you think you may need this, then by all means come and get it. That, that's why it's here for you and it's, it's gonna help you. When you're unloading it, make sure that all four of the pins are in it because these, these bars here, the spreader bars, you want those, they don't need to get bent or warped or anything because then uh, pretty much it's useless till we can get those fixed or replaced. You wanna use all four slings to pick it up. You don't wanna use two slings because there again, it can be off, off balance or whatnot and that could end up damaging these or doing some damage and it's just gonna be a whole lot easier to move it and set it in the, in the ditch with the four slings on it. So if you get it set in the ditch, then you'll wanna remove your uh, pins. Be sure you um, have the pump hooked up. You got a valve here for each one of the spreader bars. You wanna make sure each valve is released. You got your main valve here for, for the hose here. Make sure it's released. And then you wanna turn the knob to pump. And then you'll begin, you start pumping. And it may be that you can't set up like we've got it set up outside. You may have to get them to set, bring this down to you and the guy will be pumping it down there. And so you'll pump it out and you see that it's already spreading out and you'll need somebody to watch it. You don't want to pump it, say, like that right there and leave it because the hydraulics, it could leak and close back on you. What you want to do is pump it till you get to have somebody watching till one of the hose clears up to where you can put the pin back in it. Usually all four, because it's in somewhat of a bind down here, you'll have one come up clear before the other. So you're pumping it. Y'all watch and tell me one of them, which one lines up. It's usually been this one back here. So there it is, it's about lined up. So you'd put your pin in this hole here, and then you start pumping again and the rest of them would catch up. And then you keep pumping till you got all four pins in. Now there, I think there's four, five, six holes down there. So to go anywhere from 44 to 68 inches wide. So you wanna do it till you get all four pins in. And that's just for your safety so it doesn't release and it's uh, as sturdy as it can be. And then you're ready to go. You can uh, close off your valves, take the hose off if you need be, put it aside, you're good. Close off your valves here, that's added protection so it doesn't leak also. And while you're doing your work in the ditch, you wanna be sure you don't wanna use your, your backhoe bucket to pick up the arm and drag it. You want to use uh, two more slings. I would suggest not using these slings. These need to be used just for lifting it because they haven't been stretched. They're all about the same size. It's gonna give you a good even lift every time. I would hook two more slings to it and you could just drag it. Now the bottom of it is uh, angled, so it should be easy to drag each time as you do it. It is stackable. There's attachments on the bottom. That's pretty much it. Just be sure you've got a way to get out. You know, that, that's just general trenching. Uh, slope it out or a ladder. If you've got a trench more than 25 feet, you guys should know anyway. I believe you do. Every 25 feet need a way of egress. So you may need a ladder on this end and a slope on that end. Most of our ditches aren't gonna be that long anyway, so you should be okay. Um, then when you get done, just trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. When you get done, you just switch this back to release. Make sure you've got everything released and it'll slowly start going back, you can see it. And uh, as it gets back to its home position, you'll wanna put each pin in. I was doing that, well, if, you, if you're able to do that a little bit, you can do that. Uh, if you can get a couple of pins in, that's good. Then use your slings, lift it up, easily set it down. By that time, everything ought to be close enough in where you can get all the pins in it. And then you'll put it back on trailer strap it down all that stuff. One thing we do ask is uh, whoever's using it, uh, if you're getting it uh, dirty or a little muddy, allow the guys time to come in, clean it off for the next crew. That's just courtesy and just what y'all do. If you want to get it dirty, you should clean it up. Uh, also too, before you take off with it and haul it, just make sure that uh, you know any dirt and stuff that's got in there is, is, if you can get it cleaned out the best you can, that way going down the road it doesn't fall off and hit a windshield or something.